Today's lesson is on a very simple basic switchboard. Here we have a database with three tables. I have two forms, a customers and an orders. So we're going to create a basic switchboard that will allow us to edit customers details, to place orders and to close. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into database tools in database tools we're going to have a switchboard manager the switchboard manager was enabled to find a valid switchboard in this database would you like to create one we would indeed so click yes okay what we're going to do now is we're going to edit this switchboard and we're going to create just a something new to click on so we're going to say new and we're going to put in edit customer details and what we're going to do with this is we're going to open the form in edit mode and the form we're going to open is customers and we're going to say ok so let's just see how that works if we go close and close and click on our switchboard we now have a main switchboard and we have a wee box to tick. So if we click on edit customers details, it takes us right into customers so we can edit them. What we're going to do now is we're going to add on another, another box to tick for orders. So again, remember database tools, switchboard manager. We're going to edit it. We're going to put something new into it. This time we're going to put place an order and we're going to open the form in add mode and the form we're going to open is orders. I'm going to say OK. Let's close that. Close this. Open up our switchboard and see what it's looking like. And here we are. Place an order. And when we click that, it opens the orders. But what we can do now is we can place a new order. The very last thing we are going to do is we're going to just insert a wee button that will say close. So you must be getting the hang of this by now. Database tools, switchboard manager. We're going to edit our switchboard manager. We're going to create a new wee button. And I'm just going to call it close, you can call it exit, do whatever you like and the command is going to be exit application and say OK, close and close and let's pop in and see what we've got now. Now I'm going to hit close and lo and behold our database is going to be closed and that will be the end of our lesson. There we go.